yeah, he was a, well, a lovely little boy. And, um, like every baby, they always have constipation or colic or reflux. And the morning that it wasn't, that it was a bit niggly, I just put it down to that. Once I'd seen the pinprick bruising, and that it kind of registered then that it, it, he's got meningitis. Got him to the hospital, and from there there was literally loads of people, loads of nurses, consultants, doctors, surgeons around him. It was a bit overwhelming at first. Obviously, it was that rapid, and it wasn't what anyone else had seen. Obviously, with meningitis, there's two different ones, and if he had had it in his head. They'd probably saved him, but because it was in his bloodstream, his organs were shutting down. So we, um, after he'd passed, we sat in a room with him for about five hours, which was nice. And my mum's cousin, Wendy, got in touch with her about the cuddle cot, and she explained what it was. So once the hospital had released him, Wendy went and got him, took him to Normanton. They got him dressed and got him back here. And come and saw him. I was here for quarter past nine, so I was here just as they opened and stayed until I had to go and get Scarlet from nursery. And it was just nice to be able to take him out and do what you'd normally do if he was still here. So it was actually quite nice how this little thing made such a difference. He was on the Cuddle Cop for 18 days, so it was like a second home. I'd just come in and They'd ask me if I wanted a cup of tea, they, they kept the light on for him at night, they didn't turn that off, so I knew he was being well looked after. And so yeah, it was really nice, it was fantastic.